many pharmaceutical companies in the UK have voluntarily committed to phasing out the use of microbeads. The United States has already announced a ban. The government says it will start a consultation on its proposed ban soon, with the aim being the law will be changed in under 18 months. Microbeads, though, are everywhere. The government says it will also gather evidence on the effects of beads in domestic and industrial cleaning products. But they're also rubbed off car tyres and even <coughs> eroded from road markings. Green campaigners have welcomed the ban, although want it to go further. It's a reminder, whilst lots of environmental damage we do is visible, plenty is not. Chris Mason, BBC News. There are reports today that Marks and Spencer is about to cut around 500 jobs at its head office. It's thought that the store is expected to make the announcement of the job losses next week. It comes less than two months after the retail giant's chief executive branded the performance of its clothing and home arm unacceptable after like-for-like -like sales plummeted 8.9%. A spokesman said it would never comment on rumour and speculation. Police in Pakistan have made two more arrests in connection with the death of a British woman who was murdered while visiting relatives in July. Investigators say Samir Shaheed was killed by her father and former husband. The two men appeared in court last month. Now detectives say they've also detained the victim's uncle and a police officer who is suspected of trying to conceal evidence of her murder. An NHS group in North Yorkshire has said they all moved